SEC Defensive Player of the Week, a three-time SEC Player of the Week down already this season. Melvin Ingram, questions for Melvin. Melvin, Ellis was on the radio this morning saying that you were unlikely to play on Saturday against Kentucky. Have they told that to you, or what's, what's your status? Uh, I, I, I really don't know yet. It's just a day-by-day -day thing. It's just the more I progress throughout the week, I guess I'll find out at the end of the week. Melvin, has it, you guys have played uh, defensively pretty well the last couple of weeks. Has it been frustrating for you guys when the offense can't put both points on the board? And, and, and what are you thinking over there that you've got to come back, keep coming back on the field and make the play? Uh, no, it's not frustrating to us because we feel like we, we are supposed to play good every week. Like, there should be no let offs in no weeks. We feel like if a team can't score, they can't win. But we're not playing as great as we could be playing, so we can't get frustrated with the offense because we still got stuff we need to clean up. If you guys have scored a, a number of points this year, do, do you feel pressure at all to, to maybe get a defensive touchdown? Uh, yeah, we all hold ourselves to accountability of scoring. Uh, we feel like when you – get turnovers and make teams punt and score on defense, you normally win the game. So we try to hold ourselves to doing those type of things. Melvin, the way you're playing this year, did any of the talk during the offseason of, you know, the newcomers like Jadavion, like Kelsey, like those guys coming in, did that inspire you to work harder just to, and, and, and turn yourself into the player that you are right now? Uh, no, sir. It, it wouldn't have matter who came here. If a baby, a, a little kid would have came here, I was still going to work hard no matter what. I'm going to try to come out and have the best season I can have. Uh, Melvin, you've been on the spot so many times. Is there any certain reason, or is it just the hustle, or is it uh, what was helping you up so many uh, interceptions and so many big plays? Uh, just just having a relentless mentality of getting around the ball, just just trying to be around the ball on every play, no matter where the ball is at. Uh, how much pain, I mean, is there pain right now? Do you feel pain? And I mean, when do you think you might try and test it this week? Or uh, It's a little pain, but it's, it's not no unbearable pain. I feel like pain is just a soreness leaving the body, so... I feel like I'm 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 gonna listen to the trainers and do whatever they need me to do and whenever they want me to try it out, I'm gonna try it. No, if you would take us through the fake field goal, uh, you know, watching the film, you were lined up, you know, right on the line of scrimmage and then you, you immediately stood up, turned around and looked like you just kinda saw an open man and turned around and found the ball. I mean, where do where do those skills come from? I mean, as a defensive lineman, tell us what, what went through your head on that play. Uh Coach, it's, it's just come from film. My coach had told us how they, they, they only lined up in this one particular formation one time. And when they lined up in it, it was normally going to be a fake. So when they lined up in it, it just come from watching film. And that was my man and just playing my assignment. Go over here, Brad. Melvin, can you talk about how you injured the foot, how you felt right after you did it and throughout the rest of the game? Uh, I really don't remember how I injured All I know, I came to the sideline one time in the first quarter. And my foot, my foot was hurting. I was telling him. Uh, just Davy and Devin, and I was like something wrong with my foot, but it it was wasn't nothing. I was just gonna dwell on because I, I felt like we needed to finish the game, so I just didn't. I really didn't pay too much attention. Uh, Melvin, at one point in the game, you know, you were down on the field. It looked like you had a, a shoulder injury or something. Was uh, do you have another problem or? Oh no, nah, it was just I had when I had tried to dive on the phone, but I had landed on my shoulder wrong, and it had went numb. It was, it was just a sting and nothing too major. Okay. Could you elaborate a little bit on the relationship maybe between the offensive and defensive units? I mean, is, is the defense, even when the offense is struggling, are you guys still just actively cheering them on, or has there been any frustration at all among the uh, defensive side? Uh, no, there ain't no frustration. The relationship with us, we all like brothers out here, no matter if you play defense, offense, or special teams. Uh, we, we all love each other no matter how much bad or how much good somebody do, we always going to be there for each other. So there's no frustration. We never going to talk down on any one of our teammates because we, we are brothers here. We're a family. Melvin, um, have you been surprised at, at the way you've performed this season? I mean, just with, I mean, especially on the big plays, I mean, the interceptions, you know, you, the three touchdowns. I mean, you've got to be a little bit surprised that, that some of that stuff has kind of come your way despite how hard you play. Uh, no, I, I haven't been surprised because I, I feel like I work hard enough and, and – and by me working hard, I feel like when the big plays present itself, I feel like I'm able to make them. Jeff, 
What do you guys try to take away from this tough game against Auburn? You know, 92 plays on the field. Obviously, it was an exhausting game for you guys. You play ball most of the time. What do you take away from your sort of last two defensive performances? Uh, we just try to take away the, the bad things we did wrong, like the misfits and the missed assignments and stuff, so we can clean it up and, and have a better defensive performance. Melvin, I know you said all the guys on this team are brothers. How do you feel past teams have handled controversy? This is your first loss, the first time you guys have kind of come up against some adversity. How do you feel like past teams have handled that, and how do you feel like this team will handle it? I feel like, I feel like a couple of our past teams have dwelled on them a little too much. This year, I feel like we, we acknowledge it, but we're not going to dwell on it. We're just going to try to fix the things that ended, that made it result in a loss and try to try to win every game from here on out. Anything else for Melvin?